out and four weeks out from my first shows. Uh, I got one on October 19th, Seven Feathers Classic, November 2nd, NBC Northwest Championships, two national NBC qualifiers. And uh, tomorrow I'll be going up to the Washington State Natural Ironman competition. And uh, I'm going to do a little meal prep because I'll be gone all day, so I have to get all my meals ready. And I'll run you guys through that and uh, I'll just kind of fill you guys in with questions that I've been getting about what I'm doing with bodybuilding and the powerlifting and all that bullshit. So first off, I'm going to start off with a isolate almond butter fat-free milk meal that I got. And uh, I don't remember the last time that I actually drank a protein shake. I with this whole bodybuilding diet, I'm definitely a lot hungrier because I'm not taking in 10,000 calories a day like I was when I was powerlifting. So, what I do is I just take a couple scoops of isolate, lay that out. I weigh out food. I, I didn't used to weigh out food when I was powerlifting. Another necessity of bodybuilding that you have to follow. Gotta get those macros right. Alright, so almond butter, weigh this out, 40 grams. And the main reason I do this is just it helps me from cheating because I really enjoy this is probably my favorite meal of the day. Right here. Uh, flavor wise and uh, just makes things a lot easier eating it instead because what I'll do in the morning is I have my egg egg whites and uh, oatmeal meal and 40 grams of shit a little bit over it's alright yeah, it out in the morning I'll have my eggs egg white egg whites oatmeal meal and I'll eat that right when I wake up and then my next meal is this protein shake meal. If I drink that protein shake and then just eat a little bit over two scoot or two tablespoons of almond butter, and uh, that doesn't fill me up at all. So I'm looking. Then I eat every two and a half hours, and then by that time, if I just drink a shake and then that's five hours without eating something from my egg meal till my chicken meal, I mean I'm starving by then. So what I do is just try to trick myself and eat this and make a little pudding. I think a lot of people call it sludge, but I don't fucking know. I just started making this little concoction when I first started this prep when I was realizing how hungry I was going to be. Universal, isolate, ultra, isolate. Alright, and then I don't, I don't need to use a lot of milk, but I do weigh everything to an exact T just because I want to look as mean and lean as possible at this bodybuilding show. And my trainer, Roger Baker, knows my body way better than I do, so I do exactly what he tells me to do. So there's one ounce. Typically, uh, it's a little bit more. I usually go about an ounce and a half of milk. Just stir it up. And I'm going to need a little bit more milk. See, it's just very dry right now. And I like to get it to where it's almost like a pudding. Another half ounce of milk. Dun, 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 dun. I just add half ounces until it gets to the texture that I like, which sometimes turns into a big fucking ball like this. It's also midnight right now. I'm up later than I want to be. I gotta leave here by 8.30 to get to pre-judging. And then after pre-judging, I'll be going up to Gold's Gym in Bothell. Also, this is a, tomorrow will be, I think it's a three hour drive. It's not too bad, I mean, to meet up with my trainer, he lives in Kennewick, Washington. I live in Aberdeen, Washington which is, I'm on the I'm on the west coast, right next to the ocean, and he is on the east coast of Washington, which is about a six hour drive. 
and I have made that drag multiple times during this prep just to go train with them and just to go pose with them a couple times and it's worth it. But this time it's going to be nice because he has competitors that are competing in the natural bodybuilding show this weekend so I'm going to meet up with them halfway point, get some posing tips, get some training tips and get ready for my meets coming up. Two weeks is not far away. Ow. That's where my first show. Alright, get all this shit off the spoon. Alright, so there. That took two, two ounces of milk. So what I do is I just take this little container, tear it out, fill it back up. chicken up. Just got to add some green beans to it. 100 grams, 100 grams of green beans. Alright, so fill you guys in on exactly what's going on with my whole plans, goals, and future upcoming events. Like I said, I got a show coming up two weeks and four weeks out. And then, for all the powerlifters that are wondering if I'm actually going to come back to powerlifting, that's a big hell yes. And I'll be doing a powerlifting meet just five weeks after my show in November. So my November 2nd show is the end of my bodybuilding prep. And then I'll be on to my off season, which I will be powerlifting for. I'll just be doing I'll be doing both sports. I like both sports. Uh, I kind of just wanted to try the whole bodybuilding thing out, and I like it. It's going to help me become a better powerlifter because I learned a shit ton with my dieting and how I'm going to implement a lot of the diet plan to my powerlifting diet plan. And uh, so I got my show on November second. After that. There is a uh, Sean Catterell's uh, Catterley something like that. Catterley's a uh, hardcore powerlifting meet down in Newport, Oregon on December eighth. It's five weeks after my November second show. I'm gonna prep up for that. Depending on what my body weight is by then, I might be doing 250. I might be doing the 275 weight class. I'm not really sure. And uh, I'm just trying to see where I'm at. Like uh, I feel, I don't feel like I've lost a lot of strength. I mean, my body weight's down. My squats, yes, my squat is down. I mean, my belly's not gonna be resting on my legs when I'm down in the squat position. And uh, we'll see where I'm at. I just want to see how fast I can get back to being able to total 2,000, like no problem. Total 2,000, I think six meets already. But I would love to total. I've never totaled 2,000 in the 275 pound weight class. And I really, that's what I want to do for my next upcoming powerlifting meet. So I got the meet on December 7th. I'll prep for that five weeks. And then after that meet, I'll do another meet in February, the last week of February. And then after February is the first week of March, which is the Arnold Classic Coconut Oil. Uh, tablespoon very good fatty acid and after the first week of March everybody knows it is the Arnold Classic which means the animal cage and we're gonna have to do something stupid there so that's what's going on with all that shit so people that are wondering if I'm gonna stick with bodybuilding or if I'm gonna if I'm gonna actually enjoy it if I'm gonna just do these two shows no I'm gonna do Bodybuilding, powerlifting, as long as I can, and these are the two sports that I'm going to try and sell myself or excel myself in. And I honestly do want to become the next day of name, which means I have to become IFBB Pro, and which means I need to be the world's strongest bodybuilder. That is my main goal, long-term goal, and I always get my goals done.
done, that's done. Um, Alright, so right here, I eat brown rice twice a day, 45 grams raw weight. So what I did is, uh, I took 180 grams raw, boiled it all up, and then the way that I separate it is, since the raw weight, the cooked weight is obviously going to be different, is instead of just individually boiling up 45 grams of brown rice four different times, I cook a big batch, four servings worth, tear that out, scoop this in, and what I do is I just get the total weight of the cooked 180 grams, or the cooked raw 180 grams, which ends up being ends up being 558 and yes I'm getting out my calculator and 558 divided by 4 is 139.5 so what I'm going to do is set this off to the side tear that out again come over here take out another thing of Tupperware like this 139 grams in it, and we'll make it an even 140. Duh. Oh, excuse me. Take that oh, shit, a little bit over. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. So there is my rice meal. I already got my steak cooked up. Post-workout meal, steak, brown rice, and I need half a tablespoon of olive oil, So, another essential fatty acid. So just gonna add this and just dump it right on top of it. And also with this meal, we're going to need So right now, currently, my body weight is 250 pounds, and that is down from my biggest was 315 about 11 months ago, and that was a big fat 315. I, I didn't look good. I wasn't healthy, and I'll never get back to looking like that. Next time I'm 310, probably be about four or five years from now. I'm much, much thicker and muscular at 310, I will not get back to being bloated like that ever again. But, for what my plans are for my off season and how much weight I'm actually going to gain, uh, when I'm done with my November show, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not sure exactly what my stage weight's going to be, but I know that after my November show, I am going to stick to a good solid bodybuilding diet. 
I mean, I'm going to have a lot more, you know, like chicken rice meals, steak potato meals. There's going to be more calories involved. I'm probably going to have around eight to nine meals a day instead of just seven like I have right now. I'm going to be slowly gaining one to two pounds a week from after my November show. I mean, I'm sure I'll gain, fuck, who knows, probably like five, ten pounds right after the bodybuilding show's over just because I'm going to gorge myself for a little bit. But I'm going to stick right back to it. Then uh, every, I'm going to stay strict for three days straight. And then every fourth day have, I don't know, still have solid meals, but at the end of the last meal of the day is going to be a 60-minute cheat meal where I can eat whatever I want. And... Uh, I'm going to really enjoy that. This whole prep has been, so far it's been 13 weeks long, and I've had five cheat meals the entire prep, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, I've stayed consistent with my meal plan. I haven't went off of it, and I think that's why I've got such good results. Everybody asks me, how do I lose weight? What are you taking? What are you doing here? I mean, it's all on the diet. I mean, I've never dieted like this before, and then people are like, oh, I've dieted before. There's... You're doing something different. No, I'm, I'm fucking dieting and I'm staying strict. I'm weighing every single goddamn food to the gram to the ounce. And I'm just consistently staying on my diets. That's it. I mean, I'm sure there's other things involved. And everybody knows that. But, uh, you just gotta stay strict in your diet. Train hard. Train hard as a motherfucker. But guess what? You're not getting big in the gym. You're gonna get big at the dinner table. And if you're not sticking to your diet, that's 70% of everything. I mean, 30% is working out, 70% is diet. Hell, it might even be 20%, 80%. It's that important. And I didn't realize that when I had powerlifting. And that's why I know when I get back to powerlifting and I stay strict on my diets, and I focus on my diets a lot more, I know my, my total is just going to shoot the fuck up. And I can't wait to come back to powerlifting because I know that it, it already drew me with this physique when I wasn't even dieting. I mean, I was able to get to a big 310, bloated as hell, and then shred down to this and actually have a solid muscle mass set up, which is not what I expected. I didn't know what I was going to expect to cut down. I didn't realize that I was going to get like this. Alright, saute out the mushrooms. Alright, so steak, chicken, protein shake, what's next? Pre-workout meal. Pre-workout meal. Gotta get out my rice cakes. Ooh, these are stale. I do not want those ones. Another thing that is very important that I neglected for powerlifting was my pre-workout meal. I'm in construction. I work from 7 to 3.30, typically that's my typical schedule. And when I was powerlifting, I would eat lunch at noon. I would get off work at 3.30. I would drive, it would take me about an hour to get home. I got a hell of a commute, and I'd get home around 4.30, and then I'd drink a protein shake and then go to the gym. No carbohydrates. I mean, I'd probably I mean, maybe eat like fucking like a, maybe like a handful of cookies or something like that, but I was not consistent with my pre-workout meals. I mean, my, what, I mean, by the time that I got done with my core lifts, I was able to maybe just grind out my core lifts, and then by the time I was doing accessories, there's, there's no carbohydrates there, there's no energy there. My body's just on starvation mode after that, I'm catabolic as fuck. So that's one thing that everybody needs to implement in their diet. Most, two most important meals of the day, breakfast and a pre-workout meal. If you're not doing those two, you're not going to be making gains like you should be. Those are the two most important times of the day to get your food in. Cheese. Um, oh yeah, cottage cheese. This 
is one of my favorite fucking meals of the day too. Eating this fucking gross, disgusting shit. I hate cottage cheese. I really do. But fuck it. It gets you lean. And that's all I care about right now. It is my least favorite meal. Well, my least favorite food in this meal. This is a this is actually not that bad of a meal. I actually really enjoy the rice cakes. So right there, got my got my crushed cheese. That was not my favorite go. Okay. Crushed cheese. Four caramel rice cakes. Caramel rice cakes are fucking delicious. And this is what I do to this meal. So use my crushed cheese, mix for way down. these. And then again, I come back to my little protein pudding. Take another scoop of isolate. Oh, tear that out. Okay, with this, just with the isolate, it's not as good as with the almond butter. And this time, this is when you only need about an ounce of milk, a little bit, a little, little bit more, it's like an ounce and a quarter. That is with... Okay. Let me use that one. Uh, so what I like to do here is with this meal, I'll make my little protein pudding sauce again. put this deliciousness on top of my rice cakes as I eat them, just to trick myself into enjoying my food a little bit more. I feel that prepping my food, making it taste good, like with what I got, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm one hell of a barbecuer. My steaks are fucking delicious. My chicken is good. This protein pudding is Delicious rice cakes, fucking love them. Cottage cheese, go fuck itself. Uh, this protein pudding on top of the rice cakes, delicious. It's just little things like that you trick yourself into not wanting to cheat. At the end of the day and during the day, the last thing that's on my mind is getting off my diet. I can honestly say this entire prep, I've only had maybe like four or five hard days where I really wanted, where I really had bad cravings. And I never, I, I can't believe it, but I never fell through. I mean, I didn't realize I had such good willpower, but not one time have I stepped off my meal plan this entire prep. Without, the only time that I've ever cheated is when my trainer told me to have a refeed day or when he told me to have a cheat day. training a little bit also. I'm sure you guys want to know about that. My training split right now, five days a week. Oh, also, I fucked up on. Forgot to weigh this out. But uh, so here's my protein pudding that goes with the rice cakes. What I also need to do is this meal calls for another cup of milk. So I use the ounce and a quarter. So tear that out. This calls for six and three quarters ounces of milk. I love these little containers. I don't even know where the hell we got them, but they're perfect. Perfect. Six and three quarters. Okay. So back to training. Post-workout meal. Okay. All right. Sorry, getting sidetracked. I'm late. It's tired. Or, let's see, it's late. I'm tired. Okay. Let's get through this. All right. So, post-workout meal. Am training. We're gonna go over right now. Uh, 
post-workout meal, a couple scoops of isolate, and some oatmeal, and a cup of fat-free milk. Perfect. Oh yeah. All right. Good. So we got another Tupperware. Make it a mess. Should really probably clean up as I go. All right. Let's on the way. Boom. Some more isolate. Two scoops. One. Shake it out. Level scoops. Calories count every bit. Got a meal count for a reason. So what I do here is another no shake. I mean, I just I don't like protein shakes. I mean, I drink them and then I feel like I'm drinking water. It does not fill me up at all. I enjoy having that trick in my head that I have food in my stomach and that I'm actually eating something. Just just the just the whole act of spooning something in my mouth that's solid and being able to swallow it and chew it just tricks me into making think that I'm hungry and turn up taking care of my hunger. So just for me, this is right here is two ounces of milk inside of this. A little more milk. So, as you see, what I do here is I mix all this up, and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add my oatmeal right into the protein, just like that. And now i got six more ounces of milk that I need to use. Don't even have to microwave it, I just eat it as is. Soaks up. I always let this, I try and mix this up uh, at night time. By the time that I go to the gym, about 12 hours after I mix it up, it's already soaked into all the oatmeal and thickened up. And so This is actually one of my favorite meals right here too. See, I, dieting's not bad. I mean, I'm two, two weeks out and four weeks out for my shows. And, I'm still enjoying my foods. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. This isn't too bad. But I'm sure it's going to get harder. I mean, it was last week, but I don't know what to expect. Alright, this is almost done. Saturday, I train back. Just back, no biceps. I only train arms once a week. No more. So that's it. That's my meal prep right there. I just gotta add my mushrooms to the top of my steak right here. And I'll be, this is all the meals that I need 
for tomorrow. I'll eat breakfast at my house right before I leave. So then that'll take care of my first meal. And I'll have my protein, almond butter, cup of milk. After that, while I'm watching pre-judging, I'm going to have my chicken, my green beans, coconut oil. And after pre-judging, I'm going to get my pre-workout meal on, go over to Gold's Gym, train back and buy since it's Saturday. After I train my back and buys, I'm going to eat my oatmeal, cup of milk, two scoops of isolate. Then as I'm driving home, because I won't be able to stay for the night show, i got some shit to do, I'm going to eat my steak, brown rice, and a mushroom meal. And that is the gist of it. Oh, and there's half a tablespoon of olive oil in here also. And then when I get home afterwards, I'm going to eat the meal that I'm going to eat right now. Because I need to get to bed. This is my last meal of the day. So, I'll clean this up off the video because you guys don't want to watch me clean up. You guys just want to watch me get this shit together. So, Alright, so, last part of the day, turkey meat, brown rice, coconut oil. What I do is, with a turkey meat, I just get ground turkey, 99% lean, 1% fat. Put it in one of these little bowls, about half of it, make a little tier system. Put half the rice in there. Put the rest of the turkey meat on top. Smash it down. This bowl is not as big as I thought it was going to be. And this is the last meal I have before I go to bed. coconut oil to this meal. Well, I mean, I, I add it to the meal, obviously, but I don't put it inside of the food at all, so what I end up doing is, just because coconut oil and turkey meat and brown rice, you mix it, there's no way to really make it taste good. I don't like it. It tastes like shit. So, I just get my tablespoon, and fucking blob this shit in my mouth. Oh. Pretty gross. But, not bad. I'm just gonna, gonna melt in your mouth a little bit. Chew it up. It just turns into a liquid after a while. I always get some water just to wash it down because it leaves this weird film in my mouth. Let's pull it. I'm gonna get it to go. I'm excited to go to this bodybuilding show tomorrow, watch some pre-judging, learn some shit. I've only been to like two bodybuilding shows my entire life. So, it'll be interesting. Well, that's it. So, there's my meal prep. Let me organize it for you guys really quick. High-speed camera would be nice. Doink. Real quick run through breakfast at home before I leave. Protein shake, probably like right when I get there, or probably actually it's two and a half hour drive, so I'll probably be eating this while I'm driving. 
I'll eat my chicken, green beans, pre-judging, pre-workout after pre-judging, workout, post-workout meal, and then my or post-workout shake, oatmeal meal. This is my post-workout meal, solid meal. Uh, I'll take this when I'm driving home. Then I'll get home pretty late, come home, eat my ground turkey and brown rice meal with coconut oil. And where is it? With my ground turkey and brown rice meal. Always like to add tapatio. Hot sauce is the shit. I love it. So I'll probably take you guys along for the ride tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to add this video and add the other video. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make a lot more YouTube videos, and I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm going to do some training videos, more dieting videos, uh, and just kind of go over exactly how I went from 310 pound power lifter to a 250 pound bodybuilder. All right, guys, talk to you later.